Hi, Assalamu alaikum. Let's meet again with me, my name is Yohaida, and today we will look at for another grammar lesson, which is orders of adjectives. Okay, let's look at our lesson adjectives. By the end of the lesson, people should be able to use adjectives in correct orders. Success criteria is your part where you have to fill in the blanks with correct adjectives and write sentences using correct order of adjectives. Okay, first of all, let's look at what is adjective. An adjective describes a noun such as a person, a place, a thing, or an opinion. A noun can be described using one or more adjectives. Okay, look at example given. An old man. Old is the adjective to describe a man. A big cat. Big is the adjective to describe a cat. A long ruler. Long is the adjective to describe the ruler. A dirty room. Dirty is the adjective to describe room. An honest boy. Honest is the adjective to describe boy. But do you know that there is a fixed order for adjectives? This is what we are going to learn today. Okay, let's look at this. Can you give any adjectives for this noun? You have four nouns given. You have the first one, the mouse. And then the second one, the mobile phones. And then you have Fries and boy. Okay, I want you to try to guess what adjective you can put for all these nouns. Okay, the first one, uh, the mouse, what can you put here? Yes, it's dirty, right? It's a dirty. Okay, okay, someone say, teacher, can I put uh, the color of the mouse? Yes, what is the color of the mouse? It's considered gray. Okay, what else? Okay, it's a small animals. Okay. Okay, now let's look at the second picture. This is a mobile phone. Okay, can you put a name uh, or the type of the uh, mobile phone for the adjective? Yes, you can put the names. Or you can put the size. You can put the color. You can put the price. Maybe uh, this one you can put expensive. Right? Expensive. Beautiful. And then? It's a modern. Yes, modern can be the adjective. Good. Okay, let's, uh, let's look at the third one. Fries. Okay, someone said uh, delicious. Yes, delicious. Delicious is the adjective, good. It's a fright, yes? And then, can you put it as unhealthy? Yes, because it's to describe the food. 
unhealthy he okay good okay look at the last picture it's the boy who was reading a book okay clever clever is adjective cute okay what else hard working yes hard working is the adjective okay good now let's look at the order of the adjective that you should learn today okay Okay, you have actually eight orders minus the noun. And the first column should be uh, the determiner, uh, whether it's a or the or an, okay? Okay, number one, opinion. Number two, size. Okay, look at the opinion first. Okay, how do you feel? What is your opinion about the nouns? Is it lovely? Is it good, bad, great, terrible, pretty, silly? Okay, and so on. You can read by your own there. Okay, number three, you have the quality conditions. Quality or the conditions. Okay, uh, example, beautiful cool, bumpy, rich, messy, and empty, okay? And number four, you have each. Each of the noun, example given noun here is doll. So the H is antique, okay? And then uh, if the noun is bag, the H of the bag, you can put new, right? So this table is very easy for you to understand the order of the adjective better, right? Okay, six color, seven origin, eight material. Okay, actually, you have a formula for this for you to remember. Os Kashkom. Os Kashkom. Okay, that is my formula. Os O for opinion, S for size, cash. Q for quality, A for age, sh for shape, com, C for color, O for origin, M for material. Okay, so if you can remember Oscosh com, then it's easy for you to write a sentence about any nouns by using the correct order of adjectives. Okay, let's look at the first one. Okay, this one is the Oscar's com given. In the example, the adjective, sorry, the adjective given is old and brave. So you should know between old and brave, which one comes first? Okay, this is where uh, the Oscar's com comes. Okay, so brave. It's the opinion. Okay, what do you think about the man? The man is brave. So, it's opinion. So, opinion is first. Number one. All come, age. It's come after the opinion, right? So, you should write the sentence like, Mr. Lim is a brave old man. So, this one is correct. If you don't know the order of adjective, you might write, Mr. Lim is a old brave man. So, it's wrong. It's not correct. Do you understand? Okay, let's look at number two adjective. There are given three adjectives there. Glass, huge and modern. Okay, glass. Glass come under what? Okay, from Oscar's com that we learned before. The opinion, size, quality, age, shape, color, origin and material. So, glass will come under number eight material. Okay, huge. Huge is what? 
Look at the table of Oscar's comb given. Huge is the size. Good. Huge. Uh, so you can write number two on top of the words. Okay. To make it easy for you to arrange it later. Okay. Number four. Sorry. Modern. Modern come under four categories, which is age. So the sentence, the correct one should be, that is a huge modern glass building. If you don't learn about the order of the adjective, you might write, that is a modern huge glass building or that is a glass huge modern building. Okay, so that is why it is important for you to learn correct rules of grammar in English. Okay, next. You have to give an adjective there. You have red and beautiful. Red is very easy to identify. Definitely, it will be number six, color. Beautiful. What is beautiful there? Yeah, good. Just like the brave before, beautiful will be the opinion. So, it comes first. My mother wears a beautiful red chong sum. Okay? You cannot say my mother wears. A red beautiful chong sum. It's not uh, grammatically correct. Okay. So I will give you a uh, worksheet in class kick. Okay. Uh, you have to do it in your class kick afterwards. Okay. I think that's all for today. I want to see your work in Google Classroom. Okay. Stay safe everyone. Assalamualaikum.